Okay, this week on the Mostly Sports Show, I'm with Coach Ron Fabian. And Jeff, we Jeff Weekend, Coach, when you play uh, Arkansas. Arkansas Tech? Oh, 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 yeah, definitely, but you got two wins on the you split the series with Oklahoma Baptist. Yes, sir. So, given that it was uh, Harmon's last home series, what what do you have to say to her? Basically, you know, uh, it was so neat that, that Connor had such a great weekend. She had the first game sat Saturday, she drove in both runs. The second game, she drove in both runs. She had a stolen base. She threw out a runner. And what was even neater than that, after the game, Thomas, their coach, who I've known Pam for many, many years, she, in our little huddle, she stopped Connor uh, purposely, and she said, uh, Connor, you, you kept us from running. They had been stealing bases all year long. She said, you just shut down our running game. So that meant a lot to her. Hear that from another coach. Connor knows how much I, I think Kevin, how good a player I think she is, but to have a, another coach or an opponent to tell you how good you've done would be great. Now, what was neat about the OBU series was every game was decided by one run. Uh, so I, any team could have won all four, could have lost all four. In the last game, in the last inning, they got a one-run lead, and their left fielder jumped over the fence, catches the ball, and brings it back, and we would have tied that game and went this morning. So, And that was the next inning game. So very good competition. A uh, great school to play. You know, uh, their coach, I've known him for years. Very, a lot of fun. A lot of good sportsmanship. A lot of the teams we play this year don't, distract, don't uh, display good sportsmanship at all. And Oklahoma Baptist did a outstanding job. So we really enjoyed the, the weekend. I know, I know you had to move the Southern Nazarene Series down here due to rain up there in the city. So, how was it? Going up there to Bethany, then having to stop the game, come back down here, and finish the series. Up. It was it was it was difficult, and the reason for it is, we knew going into that weekend that one of us would qualify for the conference tournament. Probably uh, there was a real, real good chance one would, one would not. Uh, things still had an opportunity to play out this weekend and next weekend. There's never, you never say there's never until you're totally eliminated. But we both knew how big a series is. And once again, well, the man. young lady that coaches there, uh, Terry Weber, and I go back over, over 30 years too. So when the weather came in, we were hoping we could play one game, get another one started because of our halted grill, then we can play the next day, play three games. So we both knew we had to get in all four games. So. When the rains came and the forecast was so bad and they feel like their foot field was going to flood and we couldn't get in the first game, that's when we started calling. Uh, we called down here to the complex and Chris and them went out of the way to, to get us set up so, because they had lights uh, so we could play the remainder of that game and the second game that day. Then they called back to their place afterwards and found out that their field was flooded and they wouldn't be able to play there on Friday, so the only choice we had then was either stay here, which they did overnight, and play us at our field on Friday. But the reason we do all of those types of things is to get the games in. Even with the East Central game, if you remember the following week, the rain was terrible. We couldn't, we did everything we could get that in. <laughs> and the terrible thing about it is that we went 0 and 6 in those six games. We could have easily just not played them. If we would have stayed in Southern Ave, not went to all the trouble, spent all the expense, we could have just not played and been a whole lot better off the way it worked out as, as O and O. But sometimes, that, that's not the way you play the game. You do everything you possibly can to play, then let the kids decide on the field. And once again, every one of those games were very, very close that we could have went either way too. So, that's what you do if you want to play. If you don't want to play, you can just blow it off. And you want to have a kids to go to the conference tournament. At least. Oh, yes. At that time, we did. At that time, knowing that we had Southern Nance for four, East Central for two, and Oklahoma Baptist for four, we knew that there was ten games right there. We could win six or seven of those. And unfortunately, we only won two of those ten that about 90% sh 
chance we won't make the playoffs. Which we, a lot will depend on the games today. The teams are playing again today. But yesterday, instead of people sweeping like we needed to, the if they didn't split. <laughs> so we didn't get any out yesterday either. So they're going one and one against everybody. Well, this is the end of the sports show with Thomas. Thanks for this interview, Coach Ron Bobby, and congratulations on a great softball season.